Hello there. Welcome to a tyke farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Ding a ling ding dong. The bell. Saturday lunchtime, 12 o'clock. We've just started lunch. I've just got back from Danau where I've been doing a bit of shopping. So we'll walk down there and we'll have a look, see what we've done this morning. Sorry, sorry, store. Oh, what are they? What do they call them? Small uh, orange. Oh, then you get over the back there. Yeah, they like an orange inside. Finish? You finished. We'll go and have a look. Last, last one. Yeah. Uh, one stick. <clears throat> One, yeah. Oh, that's one. Oh, I'll just show them. The fruit he's got in his hand, that's what they like inside. They like an orange. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we'll finish the other side. Yeah, very nice. Stop. Stop this side. Yeah. Uh, I'm digging. Oh, you you digging this afternoon? Okay. Yeah. Square it up. Finish. Oh no! Up. Off. You done. Finish first. Yeah. Okay. Finish first. Now we are in this gutter. Instead of putting a grill over the top, how about putting a piece of pipe in there? Piping a... Uh... Hang on, I'll, t I'll turn the, the... Right, to make a concluding video... And the dogs have bit, just come in, I think they've come in from the other end, so... Hopefully not over the... Freshly laid concrete. Come here. So this is the last little bit is done this afternoon. That was still soft. You can walk on that bit. So this end of the piggery with the um, gully is finished. Now we have had an ongoing debate about the gully here, because pigs are going to have to cross this bit. And a pipe was suggested, I thought that was a good idea. Uh, but I run it past Wynn and no good, no good. But I forgot, as we all did I think, this passageway is sloped down to this end for washing out. So it's got to be an open drain, it's got to be a grid on top of it to take the water away from the passageway. So the debate about the pipe was all in vain. But we got to the right conclusion at the end and that's all that matters. Now the other thing we're on about tomorrow and tomorrow's Sunday, the working Sunday and Tuesday when they're back in then is going to be spent squaring up this bank and shutting it up. Now we're going to put a concrete wall in, I'm not putting a retaining wall. 
Uh, I don't think we need it. There's a bit lot of discussion on that, but wind and soy say it's not needed, so that's what we're going to do. So beginning of next week, with it being a short week, we're going to be spent, I think, on this wall and concreting this pathway. But we have been talking this afternoon regarding the water tank. And I, I said put it there because it's reasonably flat. Um, and it's high enough to give us water pressure because it's going to be gravity fed to the pig nipples. Uh, the only restriction really is the downspouts. But Wynn's come up with a much better idea. And uh, this is what we, where we're going to put the water tank now. It fits in better with my plans for the holding tank as well. He's going to put it here. Um, now I was going to go a metre and a half wide. We still need access through here, pedestrian access. So yeah, we could go a metre and a half wide. Um, what he's going to do, he's going to put six posts in. Um, it's going to be three metres long, so about here. Three posts at the front and three posts at the back. Then a concrete slab on the post, which has got to be higher than the pig nipples. So 18 inch high or something like that. But we're quite low down here. So the tank's going to be four feet high, which is going to be well under the downspouts off the gutter. So what I said to win is just you build it. Um, he knows what he's doing, he's taught it over with soy, so I'm not getting involved with it, I'm just going to let him do it. As long as we've got enough water pressure to the pig nipples, and it can fill from the top, um, I'm going to stop confusing the issue. Now he has, he's on about taking these trees down, four trees will be coming down. Um, you're supposed to have a permit. Well, I think you, it's not very clear. I think you're supposed to have a permit. But they're talking about just taking them down. Now, the problem with taking them down is this one is very close to the roof of the piggery, and that one is leaning this way. And they're quite tall trees. Now, we have got a thick rope, but I don't want to mullock with these trees hitting the piggery or going the other way even worse to an extent and hitting, hitting something on the other side of the fence so if they do decide to take them down and it's Jean's decision she, this lands in her name um, I might just get the tree fellow in what did he charge me for taking them big trees down? Three hundred a tree. So he might be he might charge me two hundred pesos a tree to take them four down, thousand pesos probably. But he's got two of his lads with him, he's got more ropes and uh, that'll give while he's cutting down his two lads, Win and Ramil, that gives four people on ropes to control it. So I think I might go that way. But while we're at it, I'd like to take one, two, another three t trees down to the corner of the site. And then we'll be clear to start building that concrete fence up to the water tank. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, it's all right, you know, I'm a foreigner. I'll take it down. But, you know, you've got to be, you've got to consider the the rules of the Bairang guy and whatever of you. But like I was saying, from that water tank there, where's my finger? There, 
if it's put there, then it makes it easy for the out, uh, the overflow from that tank will easily be able to be placed on the fence line or whatever to here, where the holding tank's going to go. The holding tank will be much bigger. That'll be fed from this gutter and from the overflow from that gutter after the holding tank. Now the holding tank is three metres by one and a half by a metre deep, that's four and a half square metres, cubic metres, which is four and a half thousand litres. But the holding tank, if we're going to be self-sufficient as much as possible on rainwater, which is the best water, it's going to be have to, have to be as big as you can. Um, at least double the size anyway. 10,000 litres is a good sized tank. So that'd be six metres by two metres, something like that. I'll give you 12,000 litres of water. And this tank will be pressurised for washing down and it'll top up on a ball valve, it'll top up the header tank automatically. And then if we do get short of water, the um, well pump will come into use to top up the uh, holding tank. So that's what we're going to do with the water system and that's going to work, we've just got to decide about the trees and what we dare do and what we better not do. Uh, I will contact again the owner of the plot and if it doesn't show up then it's his problem. I don't want to cause trouble. No, no, we don't want to cause trouble with the neighbour. The trouble with contacting the neighbour on that number you've given mm. is you're not talking to the owner, you're talking to a nephew. Yeah, I will try to contact and again. The nephew is just after scamming money out of us. Um, I will try to contact, I will try to call. Mm. Because we've had three people up here chasing that nephew for money. He's borrowed and disappeared. Um, I don't think maybe it's worthwhile ringing, ringing him again. Better to just do it, I would think. So I'll end this video here. And we'll make another one tomorrow, Sunday tomorrow, but we're working. So I'll leave it there for now.